Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am showing you how to create a New Year's Eve eye look. Also, for any event, you know, uh, you have to get ready in a room, maybe it's a hotel room, maybe it's at home and the lightning is not great, it's dark outside or maybe your husband is in the shower and the bathroom is taken and uh, you you need you need to get ready. This is what I'm gonna do today. No makeup table, no lights, big mirror in front of me, no ring lights or little lights on the side. Just, you know, getting ready as a lot of you guys when you are on a trip or on the go and um, you know not everybody is a youtuber and I think it's nice also to um, be in the same conditions as everybody which I do when I'm on holidays obviously I don't travel with all my equipments and if you want to see how to create this look please keep on watching if you haven't already subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram share with your friends and without any further ado let's get started Alright, so hopefully the light is gonna be okay. I didn't have time to do that sooner today and I have no ring light, nothing guys, so hopefully that will be enough for you. I'm just gonna show you quickly. These are the bags I get. I got, like actually my sister-in-law got me these for Christmas and I love them. Thank you, Bita. These are from Sephora and I traveled with these. Plus a big one right here, plus this from Makeup Forever. I love it. You just travel with your makeup brushes, doesn't damage at all the bristles. And then you have like an empty one to put your dirty ones. For foundation, I'm going to use my La Mer and I'm in the shade Linen. So you know what, this situation is not ideal, but it happens very often when you are in a hotel room but you don't have the greatest lightning so, so I would suggest when you travel not to um, pick any makeup like new foundation with you or a new tool that you're not used to use because sometimes well when the lightning is bad you can have really bad surprises at the end so we were in Paris for a week and now we are in the south of France at my parents place this is where I grew up and when we were in Paris, I didn't have time to vlog much. I just I was catching up with the family, celebrating Christmas, and then, you know, just catching up with friends as well. But one day we went to the Chateau de Versailles, Versailles Palace. It was so beautiful. I've been there before, but it's always so impressive, you know. It was really nice to see it again. But it was so busy, it was crazy. So I'm going to insert then there some images. We just stayed uh, for a few hours. We are in the Crusades room. Look at that painting. There's also a painting of Queen Victoria who was the cousin of King Louis Philippe or Louis Philippe and there's actually a scene in the show representing this when she was visiting her cousin. My guess is that is Queen Victoria, Louis Philippe and maybe Albert. La Galerie de Glace. How impressive is that? And here we are entering the gardens of the palace. I'm not sure you're gonna see lots because the sun is really low. Hopefully you will.
gardens quite something if you go to paris try to go to the chateau d'ersailles but plan it like ahead of time arrive early in the morning not like we did we arrived too late in the afternoon and i should have known that but still we wanted to see it so ideally arrive early in the morning buy your tickets online but now like honestly everybody does so the line is the same almost for everybody the best deal actually would be like to form a group or come as a group and there is barely a line for groups, so that would be my best tip. For concealer, I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Concealer. So right now we are actually in my mom's bedroom. That's something very common in the south of France. They do really big bedrooms. Lots of windows, light. So sorry if I don't film a lot right now, it's just, you know, I don't see my family in France very often. We are trying to enjoy, and we are enjoying every little bit of it, you know. Then I'm grabbing my Real Techniques mini sponge. And yeah, the quality is gonna be quite different without the ring light, so sorry about that again. But at the same time, I'm sure a lot of you who are on holidays, or at home, because I'm well aware not everybody has a ring light at home, Poor lighting, not much space to spread your stuff on a table, a makeup table. It's funny because as a YouTuber, you forget very easily, very quickly, but you know, it's quite a privilege to have like a makeup table and a light and don't pay attention to my hair. They got so crazy as soon as I got out of a plane and got home, like it's so humid here compared to um, Alberta that my hair just gets curly immediately especially at night like during the slip like I sleep and then on my neck it's like pfft, big curls I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury legendary brows in the shade supermodel you saw that on my channel before so yeah the Chateau de Versailles was quite beautiful the gardens are so nice but it was getting so chilly well, the zen is almost done. It is a bit chilly, but it is so gorgeous and, well, it's almost like sunset, so we have a beautiful golden light and, yes, it's super, super special. I have a husband in front. He's in a, more in a hurry than me. <laughs> so, let's keep going. Alright my friends, it's getting really really chilly and we are done for the Chateau de Versailles. Now we are about to go maybe for a nice crepe at the creperie or a pizza or something to eat and maybe a hot chocolate or a mulled wine. We were quite happy at the end to just get out and go to a creperie, get a nice crepe, crepe complète. If you come to France, and you want to order a savory crepe, order the crepe complete, it's so good. Now I'm just going to put a bit of my NARS eye primer. It's getting dark very quickly, unfortunately. I wish I started filming sooner, but my mom is hosting a New Year's Eve party tomorrow night, so we had some work to do. For bronzer, I brought my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm going to use a brush that I love from Charlotte Tilbury as well, the powder and sculpt. You saw that on my channel for more than two years now. Just, I love it so much. So this is how it comes. It's nice and quiet right now, but usually also when you are getting ready for a party, for, you know, little events you always well I always have my husband kind of like hurrying me up like are you ready how long do you need you spend too much time and we saw that in my last video doing my makeup in a hurry with the um, ABH sultry palette and I'm not really good at being quick so I do I do that a little bit on the neck as usual 
Menos. Top of my nose to lift it a bit. Then I also took my hourglass ambient lightning edit and locked face palette. I'm just like mixing these two first. Kind of gives like a nice little satin finish to the skin. On the nose as well. And the forehead. And then a tiny bit of that one because right now I'm a bit pale, so it's a bit golden. And what I do sometimes I just mix those two together. And I'm just warming up my cheeks. Often I'm I'm taking my foundation brush. I just do that on the nose just to make sure that nothing looks harsh, you know. Then with my blush brush, this is so random, that's an opulent beauty blush brush and I got it like a few years ago now at Winners and I love that brush. And I'm just going to mix this, well I'm just going to put that one first and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my eyes. So I'd rather go with that neutral golden peach blush. Then I'm using the highlighter from the palette, which is very pretty. It's pretty dry, it's pretty even prettier if you wet your brush. Between the eyes as well. Alright, so when you powder your face, what it's nice to do is to use a little um, setting spray. So I brought with me my Urban Decay All Nighter Mini Setting Spray. Super convenient and it's always nice. So that way if you powder a bit too much, well, you have your setting spray to make it look all natural. Now on my eyes, we are going to start. So first I'm going to take a bit of that light shade from the face palette of Hourglass. And I'm going to set my eye primer because I like it, it's very nice, but I've noticed that it stays quite tacky. I don't want it to grip the shadow. And then I'm going to go to my Natasha Denona gold palette. Brought also my sultry eyeshadow palette. I'm f I think I'm gonna play with both, we'll see. I'm gonna start um, with actually the shade fresh from the sultry palette and i'm just gonna place it in the crease and under my brow bone i'm going to take my natasha denona gold palette i'm gonna pick up the shade sandstone this one i have lots of videos and eye looks with this palette so i will link it at the end of this video such a beautiful palette i'm gonna showcase a bit more okay so i'm placing sandstone in the outer corner Leave a fluffy blending brush. Oh, it's a Sigma Tapper blending brush, E35. And since we don't have much light, I'm not gonna go with something uber precise with an eyeliner. I want something nice and efficient, you know. It looks like you put effort to it, but actually not too much. So I'm just basically focusing that color in the outer corner and then blending it into the crease very quickly. If I have time, I'll try to film another look tomorrow morning. Now I'm picking up a Sigma E45. I love that brush. I use it very often. And I'm going to the shade Log, which is that dark brown. Then on my eyes, well, I'm hesitating. I think I'm gonna do something a bit different. So what I like to do very often, I just try on the back of my hand a little um, duos or things to see if it will work out well together. So here I was thinking doing maybe a Python mixed with Kava. So these two together, like Python and Kava. I'm just gonna try on the back of my hand. So Python and then on top, I was thinking using Kava as a coat. So let's see with Kava on top. Okay, that's pretty. You can see that, there you go. And we could put Aurora on top of the 
Let's see if I pick just a brown. So I'm just picking the brown here, log, and I want to see with Aurora how it looks. Oh yeah, I might do that. That looks very pretty. Let's see. Looks like a wet brown. Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually, I'm going to go all over the lid with a log, that brown shade. And then on top of it, I'm gonna use Aurora, which is this one. And I'm just gonna go with a finger. Yeah, let's try to keep the light reflection. And oh, here. Oh, there you go, a little trick here. The... yeah that's very pretty that's the thing with those like coats you can have so many different options what is nice about that is just you go all over your lid with it and you have you can be a bit messy so let's see if I can show you guys so far this is how it looks like all right under the eyes I'm gonna go with the first shade sandstone pencil brush this is a BH cosmetics number 105 bit of that shade log just in the corner the outer corner and the top actually bring a little link here just going to blend for the inner corner actually I'm going to use this palette I'm just gonna pick up the highlighter shade I'm going to use my Urban Decay Double Life it's a 24-7 glide on pencil I love these eye pencils that and then a little bit up there or to avoid your nose, that's better. Oh, I don't think we're done for the eyes. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and putting on some of my Lancome Monsieur Big mascara. Feel free to put your lashes right now. All right, eyes are done. I think it's very sparkly. I just went to the bathroom where the light is still quite golden. My mom likes golden lights I'll show you after but it's very pretty and it's quite simple I think and ideal when the situation is like that you don't have much light like to do something uber precise for New Year's Eve well you can have nice glossy lips you can have red lips uh, you can have nude lips whatever suits your mood with an eye look like that I will tend to do a nude lip with maybe some gloss but I just want to show you guys this red lip probably I, I can't remember if i used it on my channel or not but that is the shiseido modern matte powder lipstick in the shade night life 510 and this is such a stunning formula and the red is beautiful it's gorgeous so i'm gonna put that on keep in mind that I, i'll probably wear it if i do like something very light gold you know on the eyes very simple Look how pigmented it is, it's crazy. Voila, look at that red. Is it not gorgeous? And it's matte, but it it doesn't feel dry at all on the lips. So that could be the final look, the first option with a red lip. Something bold, but once again, if I wear that tomorrow night, I'm not sure yet. I think I, I would prefer that red lip if I was using maybe this this one on top. Oh, we can't, you can barely see here, the light is not good, but this is a sparkly golden um, shade. Something golden or silver, I think that would look really pretty. And sometimes it's very pretty when you have a stain and you use a nude on top. Second option, I brought a dose of colors, lipstick, and we have glazed and butterscotch. And I think I will go for glazed. I like those of colors. So uh, these are cruelty free, bourbon free, talc free, and vegan. All right, so either you leave it matte or you can use a lip gloss on top. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Fussy. I really like that shade too, by itself or on top of other lipsticks. Tastes good. 
I like the doll foot applicator a lot. It gives a bit more life to your lips. I think we're ready. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a bit different. I hope you still enjoyed it, that you could see uh, a little bit of <laughs> the makeup and how it looks like. Right, let's see how it did here. I'm in my mother's bathroom and uh, it doesn't look too bad. Here there's more light but still like it's quite dark just to see and I have a pick on the eyes. That shade Aurora is so beautiful by itself or on top of that log, that brown shade. Oh, it turned out really well and it was really easy, guys. As always, like that Natasha Denona gold palette is so beautiful. You can either create like something nice and neutral for the day uh, with the mattes or just hump it up and do something very glamorous very easily just using your fingers like in even in a dark room like where there's not much light um but i think once again it's something quite realistic not everybody has a ring light and um some um, lights on the side and a makeup table so yes hopefully you will relate to these conditions a bit and uh, that will please you to see that you can achieve a nice look Hopefully you think it's nice <laughs> and that it help you and give you some inspiration to use your palette or any eyeshadow palette with similar colors. Just, you know, use the back of your hand as I always do. I showed you that before on my channel. Uh, use the back of your hand and mix the colors together to see what will look good together. Just a little reminder, I have more looks with this palette. I will link it right here or at the end of this video. I love her palettes and I enjoy it making videos with the palettes because they're so beautiful and for the price well you you want to showcase as many looks as you can right thank you so much for watching have a wonderful last day of the year and i wish you a beautiful and happy new year if i don't talk to you before thank you so much for your support subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye